Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Um, this is gonna be kind of a different video than I normally do. I don't, I don't want to do these too often, but I thought that I've been kind of going back and forth, um, what to share, what not to share, and I thought about it, and I thought I would share, and I'll kind of go through the rules the reasons um, as I go through the video um, as you probably read in the description and from the thumbnail um, about 15 years ago I had a little boy actually no he would be 17 um, but he was born with a heart defect called hypoplastic left heart syndrome um, we spent six months in the hospital uh, trying everything we could um, and they realized that they couldn't do any more so they sent us home. He lived another uh, 18 months and then he passed away. His heart failed. Um, I do not wish this on anybody um, and if this has happened to you, if you've lost a son or daughter that's my heart goes out to you. Like, seriously, my heart goes out to you. Um, so it's been 15 years since he's passed away and all I can say is that it's been a journey. Um, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about others. Um, One of the reasons, the reason I'm making this video today is kind of a rough day. I was, um, I was doing the laundry, um, and I'd taken some stuff out of the, the dryer, and then I realized, like, what? I found this. What is this doing in here? I, I have no idea how it got in here because it was in a box with his stuff. And I don't know if one of my kids um, went through the box and didn't say anything, um, but this went through the wash. And I had had it in a bag because I thought it smelled like him because he wore it all the time. It was the cutest little suit. So adorable. So I had it in a little bag and it went through the wash. It probably didn't smell like him, but... I, I'd like to think that it did. So it kind of, you know, it triggered a lot of a lot of things. Um, I can't really blame the kids. It's not their fault. Maybe they didn't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm really confused about how that even got into the wash. So it got me thinking, and I have been watching this other YouTuber. Um, and she's always really upbeat and she makes hilarious videos about raising kids and um, you know she's apparently been having a really rough time and she hasn't said what it is so it's totally fine that's I mean her private life and um, but you know it makes you realize that we're all humans on the other side of this camera and, you know, her life isn't all fun games and humor, um, and that she has feelings. And she made a video, um, about how she's learned to love herself and respect herself and that she wouldn't have been able to get through what she's getting through right now if she didn't go through and learn that she loved herself and who, for who she was. And it got me thinking well, I have all this knowledge because it's been 15 years um, that I've been going through this that I could possibly share with another mom. Um, maybe that's losing her baby or has lost her baby. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a baby. It could be a son or a daughter. Um, I feel like I have definitely learned a lot in about myself in the past 15 years. So, to the grieving mom out there, I'm sorry, so sorry that you're going through this. I wish I could take everybody's pain away, but I can't. 
so what do we do meantime because you can't take that pain away um what do we do how can we get through this and not over it you are never going to get over this um because that was a part of your life and you shouldn't have to get over it don't let anybody ever tell you that that you should just get over it don't let anybody tell you that um, I lost a few friends in this process um, because I would hear stuff like you're grieving too long you know pick up yourself get over it what these people have perfectly healthy children they have no idea what it's like you don't just get over it no. and those people are now gone and out of my life and the people that stayed and listened um, didn't say well I know exactly what you're going through no nope. no those are the people that are my life that genuinely genuinely learned to listen to me um, and if you have someone in your life right now telling you these things you need to get them out of your life you cannot have negativity in your life like that that is not a true friend say goodbye sorry Nara you will feel like the weight has been lifted off um, you, you don't need people like that in your life and unfortunately, in these kind of situations, you do learn who your friends are and who are not your friends. I mean, too bad for them because they're losing out on someone who's super special. You are a special person. And from now on, you are going to have sympathy for other people. And that makes you even more special. Um, so don't forget that, that you're super special. And what else have I learned? I, you know, I wish I could just write it all down. So many things going on in my head. Um, I've learned that also grieving is something that you will probably always do. Um, grieving for every individual person is different. So never let anybody saying, well, you're, what are you doing? Why are you grieving that way? Why are you grieving too long? Why are you always crying? Why are you always, you know, talking about this person? They're, they're gone. Mm -mm. Grieving can be as long as you want it to be, as emotional as you want it to be. Um, and everybody, like I said, grieving's process is different. The time you take is the time you take. You let yourself take that time. And I'm not saying, you know, there's going to be a period of time that you may just not get out of bed. But get yourself out of bed eventually and start doing things that make you happy. Um, when you do that, it's up to you. Um, you know, after my son died, it... Even little things that you just don't think of, like sitting down and watching TV, I couldn't do that. It just seemed like, what, what's the point? Um, you know, eating certain things, uh, listening to certain music. That was a hard one, um, because when he was in the hospital, um, I listened to a lot of music. Stuff like Enya and... I don't know, just a lot of things that were soothing and felt good at the time. But after he died, that was a really hard for me. Uh, looking at albums. Um, and I just remember thinking, when is this pain going to go away? When is it going to go away? This is horrendous. I'm never going to get over this. And I remember asking people, when is this going away? Nobody had the answer. You know why? Because everybody's journey is different. And don't ever think that you're taking too long grieving. Because it's been 15 years now. And it still feels like it's yesterday. Still to this day. 
but things do eventually get easier. Um, I did have three more boys after this um, that have kept me busy. Um, and then sometimes I feel like, wow, I, you know, I've gone a few days without thinking of them and then you feel guilty. I honestly think that it's the brain's way of giving you just a little bit of break. Um, because you needed it. Um, you know, eventually, eventually you will sleep again. Um, and eventually you'll be able to smile and laugh at something. And I think the number one thing that definitely helped was surrounding um, myself with those people that genuinely wanted to be there and to listen and to help me get through this um, process. Not get over it, but help me through it. So definitely surround yourself with people. You know, being alone was definitely good sometimes to get through my thoughts. Being alone too long definitely didn't help. Um, definitely being with people definitely helped. I was also six months pregnant with my other son um, when he passed, so that was hard. <laughs> that was because I, I like I had to eat, I had to drink, I had to get up. Um, I had to do things, but time definitely has healed some things. Um, if I could do some things over again, I think I think I would have liked to have done maybe support groups. Um, had gotten more information on grieving. I wish someone had told me that you can grieve as long as you you want to and that grieving isn't a time period um, and this is why I'm making this video because there are people out there that have lost you know a family member a son a daughter um, and someone's telling them you're grieving too long someone's telling them that just get over it life goes on and in fact my father-in-law special person that he is first thing he said to me was well I guess life goes on and he didn't mean it nicely mm -mm. he did not I, it took a lot of restraint to not punch that man in the face um so things like that and they don't need to be around you you know I looked at my husband and I said they need to go and don't feel bad about telling people to go. You need to go now. Don't feel bad about that. You're the one going through this grieving process. You have the right to tell them that. Um, and I just want to say, I'm, again, I'm sorry. I don't even know how many times I can say that. I just, you know, my heart goes out to who, whoever you are. And if this reaches one or two people, then that reached one or two people that needed this video. And I think another thing that has helped a lot is I keep, I, I talk about my son all the time. Um, he's part of our family. He's my son's older sibling and he always will be, always. He will always be my son's older sibling um, so we always talk about him my kids know um, they know who their brother was and we have pictures around um, I'm looking at one right now it's by my bedside <laughs> um, and to know that at any point when it hits you let yourself feel those emotions um, feel them cry. Um, I'm not a big crier. My husband is. So he's very external. Um, he has been through this whole thing. I'm very internal um, and I like to talk about it. 
And like I'm saying through this whole video, everybody's experience and everybody's process is all different and that's okay. That's okay. You can grieve however you want. And I'm going to keep saying that because everybody's process is different. You can read tons of books um, about other people's experiences, but your process is different and to realize that this is a process. That's a big thing, to realize that you need these emotions. And then sometimes you, you will have no emotions. You'll be numb and that's okay too. Sometimes you do need that as well. Sometimes you do need a mental break. And that's okay too. And don't feel guilty that you haven't thought every second of the day about this person. It's okay. Um, as long as that person is still in your life, your thoughts is surrounded. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't even... Yeah. Those are kind of the thoughts that I wanted to get out. This video is for everyone. Um, and if you have somebody that has lost somebody, um, or a miscarriage, or um, has had a stillbirth, or just remember that a listening ear is going to be the best thing. And not to judge, not to say, well, have you done crying yet? No. You don't have the right to say that. But to be there. Make them a meal. Be there for them. Give them a hug, a phone call, a text. Make sure you know that this person needs you. Not for to hear like everything's going to be alright. I hated hearing that. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to be alright. Well, at this moment, I don't want it to be alright. I want to feel. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping that this has helped. Um... I didn't want this to be a shameful thing. Sometimes it is hard to talk about, but overall I don't want it to be a shameful thing. Um, I, I think we all need to talk about it more. Um, statistically wise, this happens, you know, a lot. And I think we all need to support each other and not be that one person. <laughs> you don't want to be that one person because you will regret it for the rest of your life absolutely regret it. So guys, I'm sorry that this is kind of on the sadder note and I will get back to my regular unboxing videos. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't say like, like this video. <laughs> I feel like that's wrong. Um, but maybe share it with somebody who needs it. I share it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this helps somebody. And guys, I hope everybody else is having a wonderful day, um, enjoying the sun. Yeah, we'll see you later guys. Bye.